It was one of the biggest symbolic moments of the Obama presidency. With the president and first family, plus the nation's first Catholic vice president and Dr. Jill Biden all together greeting Pope Francis, it made for an unprecedented welcome to the U.S. It is a big deal, and I think it's because, since it is the Pope's first time in the United States, what better way to welcome him than to greet him as soon as he touches um, the ground here in the United States. Day two of the Pope's visit will be a sight to behold. For starters, 15,000 visitors are expected to cram onto the White House South Lawn to witness the Pope's official arrival. After the president greets the Pope, the two leaders will speak to the world, then hold a one-on-one -on -one meeting with only translators in the room all before Pope Francis addresses Congress Thursday with Biden in attendance. Even though the president and the pope are allies on issues ranging from climate change to income inequality to Cuba, even the Iran nuclear deal, the White House refuses to reveal what the two men will discuss. The president will not uh, arrive at that meeting with a political agenda. Perhaps that's because this pope can be full of surprises. After their last meeting, we asked the president whether any hot-button social issues were raised. Did he register any objections with you about the contraception coverage mandate in the Affordable Care Act or your efforts to advance the rights of gays and lesbians in the United States that worry so many Catholics? Mr. Obama responded, the pope unexpectedly brought up immigration reform. I think he was very mindful of uh, the plight of so many uh, immigrants who are wonderful people working hard, uh, making contributions. Many of their children are U.S. citizens, and yet they still live in the shadows. White House senior advisor Valerie Jarrett told CNN these two leaders may have more business to tackle in the president's final months in office. The work is never done, but uh, with two men of this caliber who share um, ideals and who share values about human decency, respect for human differences, I think that it's going to be a really, really positive visit.